how to do a cheat gainer on the trampoline. Yes, I do read the comments. One of the top rated comments on my last video was, yo bro, can you make me a video on how to do the cheat gainer on the trampoline? And then I thought to myself for a second, I'm like, why would you want to learn the cheat gainer on the trampoline? That's, that's strange. And the guy who responded to your comment had a good point. You might hurt your ankle. I mean, the trampoline is so unstable that when you land, it is more likely, yes, that you will hurt your ankle. But then I thought a little deeper and I realized, wait, the reason you might be wanting to learn the cheat gainer on the trampoline is because it'll help you gradually get over the fear of going backwards. So you can learn the backflip on the trampoline. And then I thought to myself, why I might sound like a used car salesman for the backflip. This is a perfect opportunity to make a video on how to do the cheat gainer to do the backflip on the trampoline. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. But you gotta focus. You can use the motion and the feeling of going backwards gradually by doing the cheek gainer technique and then apply it to two feet and learn the backflip instantly after that. So for some of you guys out there, learn the cheek gainer to learn the backflip. Three easy steps, each taking a minute, three minutes, cheek gainer on the trampoline, easy move. Get somewhere around the center of the trampoline you're gonna pick the foot you wanna jump off with and the foot you wanna swing through with, okay? And now I want you to get used to jumping on one foot. Jumping on one foot on the trampoline is a lot harder. Once you're used to that, it should only take like 30 seconds. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna step back to the uh, edge of the trampoline facing the majority of the trampoline. So majority on my right and left and in front of me, okay? I'm on the edge facing the trampoline. Man, I look like a minion on the trampoline. Now, that foot you like to bounce off of, right? For me, it's my left foot. So, the first movement I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a step out with my right foot. Okay, see that? I like to bounce off my left foot, so I'm taking a step out with my right. Then we're going to that bouncing foot, okay? So then, to my left. But I step over to the side a little bit, you see that? Ready, out, over. Now, next step. I want you to pay attention to your arms and the leg that first steps out, okay? My right leg. When you first step out, you can put your arms out, right? When I put my other foot out, I bring my arms back. Huh, 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 huh. Now, add one more part to that. Huh, huh. Kick and swing your arms up. So, oh, and kick. Step number two-ish. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a fairy 360, okay? As I swing my arms through, I take my kicking leg and I kick it towards my opposite shoulder and I also throw my arms towards my opposite shoulder too. Not lean back yet. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little 360. So I'm gonna go out, 360. On the ground, you kick a lot faster and maybe even harder because uh, you need to be quicker. On the trampoline, you need to actually focus on being slower, okay? Because you gotta wait for that bounce. You gotta wait for your bounce to come off. If I was on the ground, I would go like, wah, like that, but no, I'm kicking before the bounce. So what I need to do on the trampoline is I need to step out, in, and then over. Wait for the bounce, wait for your body to start coming up. So. and work on that little fairy 360, okay? Final step, okay, final minute. You can start working with that 360 and then slowly lean back more and more. I mean, just, you know, whatever, you, whatever feels good. And then turn that leaning back more and more until you start going upside down. Ah, until you start going upside down, yeah, there's the whole ankle problem. <laughs> All right, I'm turning a little just because there's a lot of extra bounce. If you want to learn backflip from what you just learned right there, a little bonus hack. Ready? Check this out. Use both feet as your steps. Okay, so instead of stepping out with my right, I'm going both. Ready? I go one, two, three. Whoa. Yeah, easy as can be because. I got used to doing those one foot cheek gainers on a trampoline, which I think are harder than the backflip in my opinion. So maybe that'll help some of you guys with the backflip on the trampoline. Just use both feet following the same path. So one, two, three, whoa. <laughs> All right, for real though. One, two, three, whoa.
With that being said, maybe there's another method for you guys to turn the backflip on the trampoline. Different things work for different people. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Uploads Monday through Friday. Peace, y'all. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.